Hey guys, Bo HD here from How To and More, and today I want to unbox and give you my first impressions of the HTC One, which is one of the most anticipated smartphones of 2013. So before I talk about all the specs of this phone, I don't want to waste any time, so let's start unboxing this beast of a smartphone by giving the box a nice little slice on its back. So right on top is the AT&T Get Started Packet that will show you how to set this phone up with your current contract. Underneath that is the HTC One itself, with a nice little reminder telling you not to text while driving. If you drive further into the box on the left side, you'll find all the standard warranty information, instructions packet, SIM card slot, and HTC stickers. On the right hand side you'll find the AC wall adapter, micro USB cable, and red earphones with different sized ear tips. So moving back to the HTC One, just by picking up this phone and prying off the plastic cover, I immediately noticed this is a premium device with amazing build quality that rivals Apple. The curved aluminum design makes this phone fit perfectly in my hand and is nice and cool to the touch which is something I'm not used to coming from the plastic Galaxy S3. So now that it's all booted up, let's take a look at the exterior and interior of the phone starting with what's on the outside. On the bottom of the one lies the back and home capacitive touch buttons and HTC logo which is just a logo and not a capacitive button. Underneath that is one of the dual front stereo speakers with Beats audio and a built in amplifier. Moving on up lies the light sensors and LED notification light along with the other front facing speaker that sits next to the 2.1 megapixel wide angle front facing camera. On top lies the sleep on and off button along with the 3.5 millimeter headphones jack. The sides are nice and clean with nothing but the volume rocker on the right side and on the bottom lies nothing but the microphone and USB charging port. Last but not least lies the 4 ultra pixel camera and LED flash with the 1.7 GHz quad core Snapdragon 600 processor, 2GB of RAM, and 32GB of storage underneath the cover. So taking a look at the software, you'll immediately notice the HTC Sense 5 overlay, which gives you this nice little information home screen that syncs with all of your different accounts like Facebook and Twitter to give you up to date information right when you unlock your phone. I gotta say it looks nice right off the bat, but we'll see how this functions in my full review. So I immediately noticed the phone is fast thanks to the quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor. It loads applications seamlessly and there's really no lag when switching between home screens and apps. But the real beauty of this phone is the 1080p Full HD screen condensed down to 4.7 inches, giving this display a pixel per inch index of 468, which is the highest resolution display on the market today. Text looks extremely sharp, even when zoomed in all the way I can't even see a single pixel with the naked eye. But overall I can see why this phone is getting so much attention lately. The screen looks fantastic and the HTC build quality makes this one of the most well built phones ever made. In my official review I will definitely make sure to cover the basics like the front facing speaker and 1080p display, but my question for you guys is, what would you like to see me cover in my review of the HTC One? Would you like to see the gaming capabilities, speed tests, camera comparison? Let me know what you guys are more interested in down below in a comment and you could be featured in my next video. So that about do it for this video. In my last video I unboxed the Bose IE2 headphones and gave my first impressions of them and asked you guys what your favorite pair of headphones are and why. If you haven't seen that video definitely make sure to check it out down below and see what other people have to say in the comments. I'm Bo HD from How To and More. Thanks for watching.